continue our look into Mr. Hammond's prehistoric menagerie leads us to one of the most well-known dinosaurs, the Velociraptors of Jurassic Park. The Velociraptors of Jurassic Park are known for their frightening intelligence, sheer cunning and astonishing agility and strength. First introduced in the Jurassic Park novel, the Velociraptor had some of the most terrifying moments in the entirety of the Jurassic franchise. Let's get into the third dinosaur on our list, the Velociraptor. Making its debut in the Jurassic Park novel, the Velociraptor starts out strong, luring the investigation team's gaze to it. The main Velociraptor sat in a group of fronds, watching, waiting. Suddenly, two Velociraptors charged from either side, attempting to grasp at them from behind the fence. A tense and shocking scene indeed, but nowhere near the thrill of scenes yet to come further in the book. When the power entirely goes out, the Velociraptors are the first animals to escape, instantly killing two security guards and several workmen. They proceeded to kill John Arnold as he tried to start the power, dismembering him. They then continued to harass Personnel, hiding in the Safari Lodge, attempting to break in. As Sattler tried to lure them away from the lodge, a raptor hiding on the roof lunged down and ambushed Dr. Wu, ripping out his intestines and killing him. Later on, as Grant, Gennaro, and the kids are hiding in the visitor center, Grant was trapped in the lab with three Velociraptors. After injecting eggs with toxic liquid chemicals, he managed to feed said eggs to the raptors, killing all but one, which he proceeded to stab with the toxic syringe. It was also revealed that the Velociraptors had been rapidly breeding in the wild, killing other wild species and hunting through enclosures. They have been shown to have had nests in the wild, gaining access to the island's docks, and eventually migrating onto the mainland. During the 1995 expeditions of Isla Sorna in the novel, the raptors were first seen in the grassy valley, where they were seen by the group in the high hide near the river, which housed a herd of Parasaurolophus and Apatosaurus. They were described as green-brown with a dark red stripe like a tiger. However, on Isla Sorna, the raptors had been left to their own devices, and along with the DX infection, this generation of raptors had no parental precedent to set their behavior. As a result, they behaved extremely violently towards each other, including instances of infighting and even cannibalism. After Lewis Dodson's plans turned to disaster, the raptors attacked and killed Dodson's assistant, Howard King. As he tried to find his way back to the boat, he had come to Isla Sorna on. After he was killed, the organized behavior that the raptors displayed disappeared, and they fell into a feeding frenzy. Following the attack on the trailer by the tyrannosaurs, the raptors appeared again, twelve to move through the long grass in the direction of the high hide, and almost passed by it without ever noticing. Eventually. They jumped to the top and managed to pull Eddie Carr out of the high hide. In the fray, R.B. Benton also fell out. Though the raptors killed Eddie Carr immediately, R.B. managed to get into the predator cage at the bottom of the high hide and saved himself. But one of the raptors accidentally took the key to the cage, and while the rest of the pack rolled the cage away, at the same time Jack Thorne and Richard Levine followed the raptors that were moving the cage back to the nest, running the jeep through the nest and putting the cage on the roof. As they made their escape, a raptor clung to the jeep, nearly ripping off the cage. But Levine killed it 
before it could do any more damage. This one is dead. Tag it and send it back to Isla Sorna for research.
first film, the Velociraptors are noted as the most vicious animals in the park, with even Robert Muldoon, the park's game warden, stating that they should all be destroyed. In the film, when the Velociraptors break out, they lurk by the maintenance shed, killing Ray Arnold and hunting Ellie Sattler when she attempted to turn on the power. During this time, two other raptors had stalked and killed Muldoon before departing to the visitor center where the infamous kitchen scene takes place and the group learns the infamous fact that the Velociraptors can't open doors. They then hunt the group through the visitor center before being massacred by the park's infamous Tyrannosaurus Rex. In the Lost World, the Raptors make their return just as iconic before. While the remaining members of the two teams trek through the endless tall grass, they are picked off one by one by a large pack of Velociraptors sporting three new skin colors, one of which is a muted version of the first film's dinosaur. This time was also the first time we got to see the male of the species sporting a new tiger-striped raptor design. They proceeded to chase Malcolm, Kelly, and Sarah into the worker village, grappling up onto the rooftops and chasing them inside the buildings until the survivors managed to escape. A practically different animal, the Jurassic Park 3 Velociraptors have been entirely redesigned. Their heads sport raised crests and a new revolutionary design choice, quills on the male's specimens. The males are multiple colors, but most notably red, blue, and gray. Along with other various muted colors, the females are white and black color. This time you see an alpha and an omega, as well as four to five subordinates. They show a more personified side, hunting the humans only to get their children back, while also communicating and setting traps. Throughout Jurassic Park 3, the raptors had hunted the group throughout the island, chasing them through the embryonic center jungles, fields, and finally ambushing them before they made their rescue. This was all due to the fact that Billy Brennan had stole some of their eggs, infuriating them. In 2015's Jurassic World, the Velociraptors were given a more tame role in the film that being used as training assets for the military ploys, amongst other things. The Raptors, which were named Blue, Charlie, Delta, and Echo, all had their own personalities and traits, as compared to the previous assets. Throughout the early moments of the film, the Raptors seemed to have lost their edge, with only slight tension being held. Such as the cage scene, they acted more as pets than animals. Towards the movie's finale, however, the classic dark nature of the Velociraptors were once again seen, as they team up with the Indominus Rex and maul and slaughter engine mercenaries. They then proceeded to return to the human side to help defeat the Indominus Rex, with Blue being the only remaining raptor at the end of this ordeal. While seemingly being more domesticated in Fallen Kingdom due to Kitty appeal, Blue, the only surviving raptor of the Jurassic World incident, still had her time to shine. In early parts of the film, she successfully mauled and killed one of King Wheatley's mercenaries. Later on in the film, escaped her containment cage and managed to kill three staff. Blue also later on saved Owen and Maisie from the Indoraptor, distracting it long enough for them to escape out onto the roof. The Velociraptors don't necessarily play an extremely important part in Dominion, it's just Beta and Blue left. 
there'll be another video on the Atrociraptors in the future, so look out for that. Cunning masters of death and intellect. The Velociraptor earns its spot on Jurassic's scariest dinos. They are well known among the public and adored by fans of all ages, while being one of the most terrifying creatures to ever walk the earth. Tomorrow, we will see the first dinosaur on this list that could be considered a demon. Hey, Ember Miners! Thanks for watching today's video. Be sure to click the subscribe button on your way out and click the bell icon to be notified of our videos when we upload them. Consider leaving a like on this video so we know that you enjoyed it. Leave a comment about content that you would like to see come to this channel, and be sure to check the description for links to our Discord if you would like to talk to the team more directly. Check out our Patreon if you would like to help fund the team and its upcoming projects. Remember, this is a fan group reviewing the depths of our favorite franchise, and that we are in no way affiliated with the groups and companies that own them. Be sure to support Universal Studios and Amblin Entertainment. This has been an Amber Mind production. Thank you for mining with us.